What's up you guys? It is a pretty relaxed Thanksgiving holiday week for me. Um, wanted to, you know, sit down and catch up on my videos, but most importantly, share two things I picked up recently. I'm sure some more things are going to be trickling in throughout the rest of the year and then going into next year. Um, as you guys know, I don't really do like big long haul videos anymore just because as I acquire and get things, I just share them in live time and upload them. If you're not following me on Instagram, Instagram is where I am definitely the most active on a day in and day out posting on stories, reels, just outfit content in general and different things throughout my life. So if you are missing the action on Instagram, I definitely recommend checking it out because on YouTube, I definitely upload every now and then, but Instagram is where I am very, very heavy with my content uploads. So I will go ahead and list that down below. So I'm pretty sure you can tell by the title of the video, I don't want to drag this out too long, but I did get a new pair of shoes from Tom Ford. And I also got an amazing ready to wear piece from Bottega Veneta. Yeah, so it's just a really relaxed, casual day. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get started with everything. So as you guys know, I am pretty much a really big lover of Tom Ford. Um, I think it is pretty crazy that the brand sold their entire fashion house to the Estee Lauder companies. Um, I think that is the first time a makeup conglomerate or beauty conglomerate purchase a fashion house, don't quote me on that. So I'm just looking at some Tom Ford things that I really love right now and picking them up. While Tom Ford is still the designer at Tom Ford and while the OG styles are still out there before any big disruptive changes start uh, impacting what they release. I'm optimistic and hopeful that it's still gonna continue on and on and you won't really notice much dramatic change, but you just never know once things get acquired how they adapt and mold and shift throughout the design process. Um, also, what's crazy in fashion news is that Alessandro Michele is leaving Gucci. I think I'm gonna do a video on that. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot to cover. So I'm gonna go into the shoes that I picked up very recently. Tom Ford boxes are amazing. They're beautiful. They are like this olive, sage, minty gray color and um you know has the branding right here which is really really nice and like true tom ford fashion they come with really nice sleek like wolf gray dust cloths that say tom ford on them and they cinch very nicely all you have to do is pull them and you keep your shoes nice and protected now the reason why i didn't put these in the dust bag is because these are like um lint city or a lint magnet so um, I did um, I did um, brush these off before get, you know starting this video, um, but I did get the Tom Ford Harrison slides in the blue velvet um, finish. What I love about these slides is that the Tom Ford logo is such a well done, beautiful embroidery that is really really high quality and really really thick. These are so amazingly soft, so comfortable. What I love about these slides is that they're super elegant. You can really dress this up with like, you know, nice black dress socks, some slacks or pants, and a black turtleneck or a turtleneck in general for a really sleek kind of laid back holiday look. Or you could be like me, you know, I'm in a uh, sleeveless shirt today with some black shorts and I'm gonna wear these to go run some errands later today. I'll probably wear them with socks just because it is a little bit cooler here in Southern California. Uh, but you know, without socks and you know, when you wear these on your bare feet, they are just so soft, so plush and so luxurious. What I also love is that you do have the Tom Ford logo on the sole right here. And it's honestly the same logo uh, stitching that is like on my Tom Ford jacket and stuff. So it's really big, nice, massive branding. And on the inside of the slide here, it's so well cushioned and comfortable. It just feels like you're walking in a cloud. So I am really happy to add these to my collection. And uh, you know, I'll definitely be wearing these a lot, a lot, a lot. I can hands down say, these are my favorite slides I own and sandals that I own. And they're just very luxurious and really, really stunning. So really happy to have these. So last but not least, and I'm gonna try to fit this into the camera here. Um, I did get a brand new denim coat from Bottega Veneta. This thing is massive. Um, it's so oversized and so luxurious. What I love about this is that it's a really like 
laid back, you know, really, really cool, sleek, you know, just like, I don't want to use the word edgy, but it's a really refined, like, it has a refined cool factor to the jacket. I don't know, there's just something about like the stitching, the collar. So the sizing on this, there was only two sizes left and I was a little concerned getting the medium because I just, I didn't know like on the model it looked like really form fitting, but now that I'm thinking about it, there's no way the model was wearing anything bigger than a small because um, I got a, I think this was a large or an XL and when it came in the mail, it was massive. I was like, damn, my tailor is going to have a field day with this. So that's exactly what I did. As soon as I got this, I took it immediately to a tailor. She took in the sleeves. She took in the sides of the jacket, the back of the jacket, and even shortened the sleeves up a little bit. I mean, it was, bas it was basically like a whole reconstruct just to get it to the perfect fit that I wanted the oversized jacket to be. Uh, the tailor that I go to also did my Balenciaga gray denim jacket that I've had for quite some time now. And even that Balenciaga jacket, the Balenciaga like sales associates styled that piece on me and they recommended the size to me. And the size I just felt like, because I wear a lot of other very um, more form-fitting and tailored clothes, what brands make in oversize, I have to take in a lot because I don't wear like, 90s baggy jeans or double XL or oversized style shirts like I don't do oversized head to toe it's like normally oversized tailored 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 so I definitely always have to get styles like this and pieces like this heavily altered and tailored just so they fit my my aesthetic and kind of like the vibe and the look that I like to go for um I will actually you know, uh, put on the jacket right now. Sorry, as I'm like getting out of focus with the video. It's just a really nice effortless laid back oversized denim jacket. The reason why I got this was because if there's like a day where I want to wear like a turtleneck and a scarf or, um, you know, uh, a sweater and, you know, some ripped jeans, like some dark black ripped jeans, and I want something that I just throw over and go that's not overly tailored, but is it my gray denim jacket from Balenciaga? I thought this would be really amazing. So I'm actually really in love with this jacket. When I styled it the other day and wore it for, as I shake this off, sorry. Um, when I styled and wore it the other day for my outfit content, um, I was really happy with how the look came together. So really happy to get this, um, not Balenciaga, Bottega oversized uh, denim coat jacket. And the deal I got on this was, <laughs> it was pretty insane. I think Browns actually removed most of their Bottega Veneta stuff um, shortly after I got that. Uh, I don't know if it was like a website glitch or something, but let's just say I'm very grateful to have that piece in my collection. Anyways, you guys, that wraps it up for my video. Just two items, but just wanted to sit down, catch up, have a conversation. Uh, if you like the slides, let me know. If you love the jacket, let me know. Did you pick up anything recently? I would love to know what you guys are eyeing or picking up right now. Lots of great deals and things happening, so, you know, check out Farfetch, Brown, Scents, uh, Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue. There's a lot going on. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and as I always say, until next video, I'll see you guys then.